Hey, my people, it's High Priestess Creole Queen. It's the witching hour, and I'm feeling witchy. Tonight's topic is how to recognize when your man has been hoodooed. And it's very common, and it happens very often, believe it or not. Yeah. Let me tell you about my friend Yvette. Yvette has been through hell for the past eight months. Her man of 10 years cheated on her and the woman he cheated with is claiming to be pregnant with his child. Her man told her, well, her man told the other woman, that he still wants to be with Yvette and their four children. However, he said that he will still help support the other woman. Okay. Yvette confronted this woman in October and asked her to back off and let them work things out for their family. But the woman refused to back off. She threatened to keep the baby away from him if he doesn't leave Yvette and their four children. Yvette believes that this woman has hoodooed her man. This woman lied about being pregnant in December and Yvette is still not sure if this woman is even pregnant. The woman sent him a picture of herself and a positive pregnancy test on March 30th, but she didn't send an ultrasound picture. Yvette doesn't want to lose her family, but now her and her four children are homeless because he kicked, he kicked Yvette out and has moved the other woman and her three kids into the house. The house that they are, or the house that they were living in, okay? <laughs> so the bitch came to the house in the beginning of June and caused the scene, a big scene. Assaulted Yvette's man and tried to fight Yvette. Now Yvette said that she didn't want to fight her because she's pregnant. <laughs> I said if that was me, that bitch would have caught a beat down, pregnant or not. Police got involved and told Yvette that she had to leave because her name is not on the lease or on any of the bills. So the police said that Yvette had to leave. You know, she had to leave when, um, you know, she's the one who's paying for everything. She, she paid for everything. She was paying the rent. She was paying the bills, everything, you know. So her man told her to pack her things and get out. But he wanted her to leave the kids, but she refused to do that. So now she's homeless with her kids, you know, because, you know, and now because they are not married, you know, the police told her, the, the police told her man that she has the right to take them and he would have to get a lawyer to fight for custody craziness craziness you know her man is very confused he says that he feels torn between her and this woman he feels he made a mistake and he reg he regrets everything he told Yvette that he doesn't want to be with this other woman and um that he will always want his family and he's sorry for what he did and he wished that he could somehow remove them from their lives. Remove her from their lives. He said Yvette and the kids were the most important things to him and he can't live without his family. So Yvette doesn't know how everything changed so fast. She says he became cold towards her, just cold, all of a sudden. 
and she felt like he hated her and was dis you know like disgusted by her because you know this was not the man that she loved for 10 years you know she says that even his family was even shocked you know and they can't even understand what is going on with him he has completely changed because of this other woman ladies and gentlemen these are all symptoms of a man that has been hoodooed or cursed by another woman. Okay. He tried to explain to Yvette that he has to be with this other woman because she's pregnant and he needs to help her, but he still wants to be a family. He wants Yvette to find her own place and he will still see her and the kids every day and spend the weekends with them. He also said he doesn't plan on being with the other woman after the baby is born. And, you know, he told Yvette that he still wanted to work things out, you know, after the baby is born. This doesn't make any sense to Yvette. And I believe it doesn't make any sense because his ass is lying. He is a fucking liar. But he is not in his right mind at all because of this curse, because he's been hoodooed. Okay, his mind is fucking gone. He's gone. He's not even himself anymore. So Yvette made, well, I'm sorry. Yvette had a witch do some work, okay? Did, did some spell work. Um, and she had a candle reading that showed that a breakup curse was put on their relationship by this other woman or by, you know, by somebody. Most likely this other woman put a breakup curse on them. The other woman has driven this man to hate Yvette and not care about his own children. And I said, you know, it must be some good pussy or some really good head, you know, for him to just say, fuck his family after 10 years, you know, and, and go and run off with this woman, okay? This woman has tried to trap other men by getting pregnant by them, you know, probably because, probably, you know, so that she could try to get money out of them. This woman is still married and about to lose her youngest son because her husband is in the Navy and found out that she was cheating while he was deployed. Yvette says that this woman is not a good person. I don't believe that she's a good person. So Yvette told her to back off. And she said that this lady said that she will not back off because he is what she wants. He is who she wants. And she plans on getting pregnant by him so that he can marry her. Ain't that some shit? Their children are suffering because of all of this. And it just brought tears to my eyes when I read her note. You know, when, when I read her note to me, it brought tears to my eyes. You know, hearing how her babies were suffering. You know, they could lose their oldest son because of all the drama. And the birth mom doesn't trust Yvette's man to raise him. The oldest daughter is heartbroken because she feels rejected by the only man who has raised her since she was like eight years old. And he is the only father that she's ever known. And they have two baby boys, you know, two baby boys that they have together. And they are very sad, very confused, and to the point that they don't even speak anymore. So she asked for my help. And so I wrote back to her and I said, Hello, Yvette. As I read your note, it brought tears to my eyes because I could feel your pain. I don't believe that you have done anything to deserve this, this kind of treatment and disrespect. 
She is not going to win this. She might have power because she is a witch, but she is not more powerful than the two of us together. I stand with you, my sister. I stand with you and we will win this fight. She fucked with the wrong one this time and she is going down. You know, I hate to hear when these types of selfish, ugly bitches want to just come and destroy a family. Can I ask you a question? You've been in this relationship for 10 years. What has prevented you from getting married? I know that it sounds nice to treat your man like a king, and you should, but your definition of treating him like a king was giving him everything that he ever wanted and taking care of him, and you would think that that would be the right way to treat your man, but it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't the right thing. You didn't require him to treat you like a queen or meet your needs. You were too kind and too submissive to someone who didn't earn that place in your life. I mean, you gave him all of yourself and he took you for granted. He used you and he just crushed your heart. You should never give a man so much of yourself. Mm -mm. Not all of that. A queen takes care of herself first. You have to make yourself a priority. You have to love yourself first, and he needs to see that. He needs to see how much you care about yourself because that is how he will know how he is required to treat you. He will know that you won't tolerate his bullshit. See, because when you put a man on a pedestal like that, and when you put him before yourself and put him before your children, to him, you are not a queen. You become a slave to love. And then he becomes your God. And he will not have respect for you because you don't respect yourself. You don't respect yourself as a queen. You know, you have to make him work for your affection. You shouldn't be so giving. Don't be a doormat. You know, there were issues in your relationship before all of this went down. He cheated because he didn't have any respect for you. And this woman saw that and she played on that. And this is how she was able to hoodoo him and curse your relationship. The issues that were in the relationship presented a moment of weakness, which was an open door for demonic spirits to gain entrance. And that is how you became cursed. See, those issues need to be remedied or the curse will remain. So this will take more than spiritual work. This, this takes conscious psychological work that must be done here, you know, because this is a hell of a spiritual battle that you're going through, a hell of a job, and things just won't happen overnight. It will take some time, you know, it could take years to get back to the place of peace. You will need uncrossing work done because your relationship has been cursed. He is cursed. He has been hoodooed by this woman who I believe is a powerful witch. She's very powerful. Okay. But she ain't that powerful. I suggest that you get my ultimate bitch be gone spell. The ultimate spell. We will hex this bitch and return back to sender. This witch of a bitch needs to be destroyed for what she did to you and your family. And we need to make her disappear. And if she's pregnant, she needs to lose that baby. My ultimate bitch be gone spell will take care of it all. You will also need spiritual cleansing on the relationship, protection over your union. 
and a black magic love spell, I would suggest my happy family package to draw the two of you closer and make your bond stronger than ever. And the children all need healing because they are suffering tremendously in all of this. You should purchase the spells because it will help remedy your spiritual condition. My spells are powerful to manifest what you desire. You know, it will be good for you because, you know, it will make you feel good to know that someone is on your side. Someone is standing with you. Someone is in your corner. I perform black magic spells and rituals. I use creative source energy, dark matter, science to consciously manifest your desires and goals into a reality. That's how I make the magic happen. I also work with spirit assistants. I will use special candles, special herbs, special oils, crystals, stones, spiritual tools, and curios as a conscious way of gaining access into the subconscious mind to manifest your desires into a reality, you know, because you deserve to have your family together again. You know, the other worker that you went to did a good work and that work, all the work that all the work that I do will only add to that work. It would, it would add more power and amplify what is already being done right now. And I'm glad that you came to me because this type of situation requires someone who is a professional, a professional who is skilled in the dark arts and not just any internet witch who is just trying to make money. You know, this work requires it requires so much more than just lighting a few candles and saying a few prayers. There is work that you must do also on your end. And you will have to let him go. If you want him to come back to you, you will have to let him go. You will have to, you know, start showing him that you love yourself, that you are putting yourself first and making yourself a priority. You have lost yourself and now it is time for you to heal and it's time for you to find yourself again. It's time for a fresh new start. That is the only way to get your family back. So you have to focus on you, focus on your children. You know, he made his bed. He has made his bed and he will suffer for that. No doubt. He will suffer for what he has done to you and your children. They will both suffer, him and this woman. You know, it has already begun. The drama has already started. You know, whatever they have won't last. They will never be happy together. And that was the end of my note to her. You know, if I was Yvette, I wouldn't even want his ass back. He is a liar, and I think that what he did to her was fucked up. I mean, I think that how he treated her was unforgivable. I would curse his ass and move forward and never look back. But that's just me. You know, my job is to give the client what they want help them to manifest what they desire. But sometimes what they desire is absurd, really. And that's when I have to tell them the truth, you know, and the truth hurts. A lot of people don't like it when I tell the truth, you know. People get mad with me when I tell them the truth, you know. But I think that we need to love ourselves more and stop allowing these men to treat us like shit. Really. You know, there's nothing wrong with loving somebody and wanting to be loved in return. And when you choose to love, hurt is inevitable. You will suffer. You will get hurt when you choose love. But the thing is, you have to find the ones who are worth suffering for. 
And also, you have to love yourself more. You have to love yourself more than anybody. So I ask you, you know, was it all worth suffering for? Is he really worth the shit that he has put you through? If so, I say keep him. Work it out. You know, we can do the love work. We can do it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. Dark blessings. Peace.